hello, my dears, and welcome to another Let's Build New Crest. I hope you are all doing very well. It is night time here at Council Block. The stars are out. The crickets are cricketing. <laughs> um, yeah, we're here. We're, we're, we're gonna go. We're gonna go in and. Get ready for the next resident, my loves. The next resident is moving in today. That stall looks really weird down there. Just plopped on the grass. What the fuck is that? What is that? What are you? That's a cupcake, I think. That's a cupcake. Yeah, that just looks really odd being just placed there. It, me, I just want to train paint around it. <laughs> I really do. I do. Well, anyway, hello. Welcome. How? I hope you're all doing very well. We're going to go inside and meet the new resident, um, Mr. Julian Jacobs. Mr. Julian Jacobs is a sight for sore eyes if you had those leather pants. He's actually really quite stylish. He is actually quite, he loves his clothes, absolutely loves his clothes. Um, Julian is single. I would see him in his like mid 40s, creeping up to 50 maybe. Um, he... Not newly single. He's probably been single for two years after his husband sadly passed away. Um, so, yeah, he's a little bit sad. They had a house together. It was a really nice house, but he lost all his money. And when his husband died, he found out that his husband was in a lot of debt. And that proceeded for him to lose all of his money, all of his belongings. Um, and he had to come and live in this block now he loves living here he loves living here he actually really really gets on with beryl him and beryl are quite what's that sound oh barry <laughs> you're not allowed out you little shit get in oh is he waiting to get in oh oh well <laughs> oh really oh well but yeah anyway oh he's quite he's, he doesn't look very happy here maybe he needs the toilet or whatnot but we'll pause it um so, Julian, did I just call him Barry? Julian is um, a very successful drag queen. Very successful drag queen. But he is working his absolute ass off now. Mainly because he's trying to... He had to sell all of his dresses, all of his wigs, all of his makeup. Everything just had to go. It's gone. It's gone forever. Never to be seen again. Um, but with Julian and his drag name, I haven't gave him one. I want to give that task to you. You there. You watching. I want you to give Julian the best drag name that you can come up with. And the winner gets 10 points to whatever Harry Potter house they are in. Not just Gryffindor. I am not selective in this, um, in this world. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm saying, but you get the picture. So down in the comment box below, we need a good drag name for Julian. Definitely. But yeah, that is happening. Um, I need to stop it with the Juno Birch references before she comes for my ass and trademarks it. Because she would not be happy with that. Oh, so Julian's got the um the washing line on the outside. Well, makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. Little tight, tight pants. But anyway, this is Julian's flat. Julian, um, obviously it's going to be a one bedroom flat. So we've got a lot more space to play around with, with this one, which will be fun. Um, I've already obviously put the wallpapers and the flooring and everything on. But in my head, I want the furniture. He's managed to pull some selective pieces and not tell the people who came for all of his stuff or the debt. So he's got some really quite nice furniture pieces. So I want the kitchen to still look a little bit shit. Um... Well, not shit, just, you know, a little bit crappy. Um, yeah, you get what I mean. Same with the bathroom, a little bit crappy, but livable. Um, and the he's decorated this himself. He put the wallpaper and the panelling up and loves a bit of floral. Loves a bit of floral, does Julian. But yeah, I thought that would be a really, really cool way to sort of get it across. Um, and what I'm going to probably do is have him become quite friendly with dear old Callum over here. Callum tries to keep away from him because Callum thinks that Julian would know. Be like, mm, yeah, I can smell it on you, my darling. Um, but in the end, he maybe becomes a bit of a mentor 
for Ju uh, for Callum. I kind of like that idea. They could kind of like see common ground. and Do you know what I mean? I think that would be quite a nice story. But anyway, less for the talk and chatter. We're going to carry on. We're going to start building. We're going to start building. So, kitchen. Kitchen, kitchen. So, I would probably pick... It's going to be the same one because they all would come with the same kitchen. Like, it wouldn't... You wouldn't get choices of kitchen in um council houses so what i would probably say where's the one that is that the one that i used downstairs then yeah it is okay so oh yeah and things that i changed last time in this place um i've obviously got we've got a new sofa a new sofa system and i also got rid of that big unit and i put in this smaller tv here people saying that this t the sofa's too close to the tv yeah no it's not it's fine okay just leave me be let me build <laughs> Um, also, good on you guys as well for reminding me of the kind of dresser moment. I don't know if you can use this as a dresser, but if not, I can swap it out for the other one that we've got. I'm sure you can because it was in the uh, bedroom bit. I'm sure it was. Yeah, it's there. So, yeah, you must be able to. Um, and a few of you were saying get rid of this and put in the music like station or the um, the music production station not i would probably see him having something more along the lines of this something a bit more analog and a bit more older this is probably second hand you can see by the like laptop looks a little bit battered and whatnot like so having a music production kind of like system in here it just it wouldn't make sense because he wouldn't be able to afford it really um what else did i change not an awful lot that was just it really uh yeah that was it and that there is completely done and that is how i like it so, moving on. Just needed to get that out of the way before we before we go on. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to see what drag queen names you guys come up with. <laughs> the funnier, the better. Don't forget. You know me by now. I do like a laugh. Right, so the fridge is going to go there. This needs to be a corner moment there. Um, then we're going to... Oh, then we're going to put the oven there side there oh we need a washing machine in here i can put the washing machine on this side um and the sink there yes 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 so quite a new fridge as well i wouldn't say yeah quite a new looking fridge i'd say for julian julian go bought his own like cooker and if you guys are unsure what a cooker is it's an oven <laughs> Just want to reiterate that. Oh, that's going to be quite close to the oven, though. Oh, well. Oh, well. So, yeah, quite a new looking cooker like this. We'll, we'll probably... I'll probably get it in a silver, actually. Yeah, we'll get one of those. We'll keep the fridge in white, though. It's fine. So, yeah, Julian's got a bit more of a... bit more of a cooker. He stole that as well. He's like, you're not taking my cooker. What the hell am I going to do my souffles in? I literally spat all over my desk then. <laughs> uh, what sink have we been using again? This one. So all of the stuff that's proper fixed into the house will make... Um, not crap, but you get what I mean. You get what I mean. I don't mean it like derogatory or anything if I'm explaining something and it sounds a little bit like shitty like I used earlier. But you guys know I come from a good place. Um, yeah, there we go. Oh, um... Uh, I've no idea what that noise I just made was, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> so, if I can put this in again as well. Someone told me to like lift up my cupboards like right to the ceiling so the fridge can sit in. But I just hate that the ceiling then cuts the cupboards off. And then I've got to do it with everyone else and I just can't be bothered. So, we're going to keep it like that. It's fine. Hold on to your tits, Betsy. Um, and we're going to have a little small one, maybe all the way along now. Yeah. Once again, the wall's getting bleached out because of one light. It's like, why? <laughs> but anyway, we'll ignore that. We'll ignore it and we'll move on. So, kitchen is kind of laid out there. Oh, it would have been nice to have the sink over here, really. Um. Oh, no. Do you know what I do instead? We're going to put a wash machine in and then maybe just a single like breakfast bar. Or I could do a... Well, let me see. No, that's not going to work. 
I mean, I could do a breakfast bar there even. Yeah, we'll do a breakfast bar there. So, uh, appliances. I like that new way of searching for this. It should have been um, the first thing I went to, really, stupidly. But hey, we've all got our own ways of doing stuff, haven't we? That's the thing. There's no point getting your tits in a twist over something that somebody's doing that isn't the same as you because the world would be a very boring and grey place, wouldn't it? Hmm. So washing machines live longer with cow gone. <laughs> if anybody knows that reference, you're old. <laughs> uh, right. Um, dining table. Don't. There's not many stool height ones, is there? I mean, there's this one, but that's very like classic looking. It doesn't really matter. He doesn't. He does. He doesn't mind a bit of classic. Doesn't mind a bit of classic. That's a maybe. Or I could use that glass table that isn't in tables. Still is not in tables. Why is that? Mm -hmm. That the what I'm meaning the one from Tiny Living as well. I just don't understand why it's not in tables. It's just odd. It's just so very strange, and I'm absolutely not here for it at all. Yes. Yep. Yeah, so we got a little dining table. Well, a little breakfast table. But he can eat. He can eat. He, 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 he can eat his uh, whatever on there if he wants. I can see an eye. An eye. I can see in her hair floating in my lashes. See, that's the problem of having really long lashes. They kind of comb the air <laughs> and just pick up every bit of dust. And trust me, I'm not complaining about having um, about having long eyelashes because long eyelashes can get you out of many a sticky situation. You just batter your lies like this. Name that film as well. There's lots of film references going on, isn't there? I've been using a lot of film references recently. I don't know why. But I have been. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I will put the sink here. I really do. I mean, it's not going to make the door look weird either. But it is going to have that horrible lighting thing going on here there was also somebody shitting themselves about how low the windows were compared to the kitchen sides it's fine it is absolutely fine you will get through this you do not need to cry um hmm what could we do down there or can i could have a washer dryer I know he's got a washing line there, but he could be that bougie and have a washer dryer. So I'm going to get rid of that washing line. In fact, we're going to keep that out and we're going to put that on another balcony because I like the way it looks from the front. Um, I can't do it on the third one. I'll have to do it on the bottom. I'll have to do it on the bottom. There we go. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Right, so we're going to get a little dryer in here now as well. In that same tone. And then is that going to give me enough room to open that door? I mean, it is on the door kind of frame, but it's not actually going to make the door clip. So it's fine. Um, And then maybe. I mean, we do need to get a blind up there. But... I don't know, and I think I'm definitely going to stick with these blinds. Maybe these kind of blinds are kind of staple with these flats as well. They kind of keep them there. Yeah. Oh, I would imagine him hating kids as well, so he's not going to enjoy being above the kids' playground. <laughs> typical gay, like, ugh, children, get away. <laughs> well, not typical, but a lot of the gays that I know, a lot of the gays that I know, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit, maybe a bit planty out here then. Just something where he can quickly nip out and water his begonias. Begonias. But yeah, looking forward to hearing these drag names, I must admit. 
yeah, nothing too, ma like, majorly detailed there. I'm not liking how bare this looks, so I'm definitely going to be putting... The only stuff that I found, though, as soon as I put something on top of a washing machine, it doesn't work properly. I don't know if anybody else has found that, but I certainly have. <sighs> I want to use the laundry day stuff, but it's just not going to fit on, the, on a window. I knew it. I just knew it. All of it. Give me all of it. There, yeah, like this. This would have been like such a good object above here, but it won't make sense because there's a window there. It just doesn't make sense. And we can't get rid of the window because it just, you know, it would be silly. It would be silly. So I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to carry on with the kitchen and we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that in a second. We'll come back to that one in a second. Um, I went out on a bike ride today for the first time since quarantine has started. Uh, yeah, it was a... I got earache. <laughs> it's quite cold and windy and rainy today in the UK. The weather is supposed to be picking up again tomorrow, thank God. Um, but yeah, I... Was very safe. It was nice to just get out, get outdoors. It was just... It really helped, actually. So I was feeling a little bit shitty this morning when I woke up. But it definitely helped. It definitely helped, my loves. Yeah, okay. So, up here. Oh, do you know what would look great in here? He's going to have all three as well around the flat. Um, Where are you? I'm talking about this. He's into his starlets. So I think we'll have, we'll have the Audrey in the kitchen. Is that going to be a bit big for the kitchen? Nah, no, he's going to be all about it. He's going to be all about the size. Audrey in the kitchen. Definitely. Without a shadow of a doubt. Um. Okay. I think in this corner here, I'm going to put a little coffee. A little coffee machine. Maybe a bit more of a modern one than that. Again, he has brought a bit more of the bougie stuff with him along. The stuff that he managed to... Get all of his mates to come around and quickly rush out of the place that was going to be kind of sold for all of his pieces. I've heard that happen so many times before as well, where that people's like other halves have passed away and they didn't realise that they were in debt and then they're like they have to pay it all back. That's so that's crazy. Imagine that. That would be absolutely horrific. Um, I think I'm going to keep that free from blinds. Yeah, I'm just going to keep that completely free from blinds. I just want to, I want to get detail in here, but I don't know what to add. I'm going to have a little think. Okay, so I've decided to rejig this just a little bit. And just, this is what I've come up with. We got rid of the dryer. Um, main reasons being I did need to fit a bin in here somewhere. Um, but I also thought that this could be quite cool where Julian could store all of his drag attire. And I've got this out as well, which in my head is kind of his like stage equipment, like his lights and, you know, all of the stuff that you need to get a good drag show on the road. And that's all I can say on the matter. We'll make him a really good singer. We'll really bring in the story with him being an entertainer. I may even put him in the entertainer career, actually. So when you do get the save file, he'll already be kind of in there, leveled up and whatnot. But yeah, that's kind of better. And I just used one of the screen dividers from Tiny Living. Where are you from? Uh, University. So from, yeah. So I thought that would be better. That kind of gives me a little bit more personality in this. Like, because it was looking a bit bare and I just did not know what to put on top of the dries and whatnot so that is where we're going to go with that my loves right anyway let's flop some more pieces on the wall i would imagine julian is quite a good cook loves a bit of chefing in the old boudoir um can i put that in? yeah i know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get um get the shelf out the shelf of dreams Let's get you to, like, that level. No, it needs to be so the utensils don't go. Okay. Get you to there. Stunning. 
And then this one here, I can whiffed around there. And then I'm going to whiffle this one up higher. And yes, it is hanging over the cooking hob, but who cares? <laughs> it will be fine. Let's get one of these lights, the standard lights that we've got going in all of these kitchens. I can feel one being maybe above the fridge in there, but also behind this shelf under here as well. I may put it up just so you can't see it. There we go. And that just brings some weird lighting into that corner, which is great. Stunning. Love it. Um, And then up here, maybe putting a few... I could pop that little that little planter just on the window yeah in a green just on the window frame that's cute that is cute and then maybe up here i'll do a little a little hand towel where's that one that came with um spada <laughs> i don't know why i have to say it like that i just do spada yeah like this but size you down darling and i can put that there little dish rag yes yeah i am going to put a rug in the kitchen i know people are going to be like oh why i just want to i can just a nice like a pinky rug a little pink number like this but small it small it we're going to small that i could put it there actually yeah that's fine just a little bit of pink a little bit of pink yeah cool yeah, I'm happy with that. That layout is perfect. We'll move on to the living area. We'll move on to the living area. So we're going to get this light, which is like, look at the size of that light. What the hell did we do before the size down feature? Hmm? What the hell? Okay. Right. Some really, I definitely, not garish. Well, maybe a little bit garish, but we need a really elaborate curtain. An elaborate curtain in here. That's massive. Definitely feeling an elaborate curtain coming on. I don't know about you guys. That's not going to work in here. Um. Hmm. I can just imagine him wanting like. A really quite. Oh that's not too bad. That's still quite elaborate. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Bit of blue. I know it's not like great for taste and whatnot, but Julian loves them. They're made out of Italian silk. Marinated in virgin's tears. With a side hint of unicorn bum fluff. <laughs> and that's where we're going with that, I suppose. <laughs> okay, so I said that he was going to have quite bougie furniture. So I'm thinking for the sofa, like one of these ones. Yes, I think so. I mean, that doesn't come in the right. It does come in a pink, though. Oh, that's not too bad. I think the pink's going to be the one, though. I wish as well. This is just a, such a small thing. But I wish that when you, like, turn and place an object... And you're not kind of directly looking at it. And then you go through the swatches with the plus and minus keys. I wish the object would still snap and stay to where it is. And not turn around so you can see it like face on. Just a little thing. But I think that would make such a... Yeah, such a difference. I think the pink one's the winners, friends. I really do. I mean, this would look great. Like pushed up in the corner here. That was 4,500 simoleons. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, yes, I do believe so. Goes nice with the blue. Doesn't go great with the wallpaper, but Julian's talents do not lie in interior design. It lies within performing. Performance. We definitely need a record player in here. I'm thinking of putting like a TV unit on this side and maybe moving the door there to the bedroom. We could put the TV unit up there. Um, Definitely need a flat screen. Definitely feeling a flat screen coming on. 
but I would like one that doesn't stick seven feet out from the wall. And one that doesn't make the shadows go weird. So we're quite limited on that one. That's the one that makes the shadows go weird. Okay, that one's a bit better. We'll use this one. So yeah, if I put this here. And I think what I'm going to do there is like do a fake mantle. Oh, it's massive. Didn't realise that object was that big. Oh no, it's not going to fit on that door frame. Look. In fact, maybe keeping the door there. I can maybe squeeze the music. Like the record player in there. If I shuffle that up a little bit more. Let's test it for science. Oh, it's going to fit there a dream. It's going to fit there an absolute dream. Yes, in that tone as well. Oh, and that is where Julian plays all the greats. Judy Garland loves a bit of Judy Garland. Absolutely loves a bit of Bet Bette Midler as well. And obviously Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand. Yeah, the character is loosely based off of my uncle, who sadly passed away a few years ago. Um, He was amazing. And he was a drag queen. He was a drag queen. His drag name was Gypsy. Um, but so yeah, loosely based off of him. He was an absolute iconic and we stan Uncle Bumpkin. We really do. Um... Okay, nice rug. Needs to be an elaborate rug as well, doesn't it? I mean, there's no two ways about it. It definitely has to be. What colours do you come in? <gasps> well, slap me in the tit. That one is going to be absolutely stunning for in here. Might have to shuffle it down a little bit further. Like to here. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I would definitely imagine Julian liking a clock as well. Definitely love a clock. Um, I want something a bit bougie. Maybe this actually. I imagine his heyday was in the kind of eight seventies and eighties. So well, mainly eighties, but and I know that's like mid century, but you get the drift. They did have a resurgence of this kind of thing back in the eighties and no, in the seventies. Yes, yeah, I'm feeling that. I definitely am. Thinking here, a little poof. Just a little pink poof on that one. Um, well, where's that little, this one? Do you come in a pink? Uh, it's more of a, like a dark raspberry, isn't it? Yeah, it's not the right tone for in here, loves. It's really dark, that object, isn't it? I'm not a fan. Oh. Oh, no. That one looks a bit tatty. Tatty, and that's purple. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, that's too modern. Yeah, it's too modern. Too oh, that one comes in a pink. Well, wow, didn't even realise that. Um, that's actually not too bad. I did want it to be a bit more ornate, shall we say. Maybe actually, if I can go into comfort. Uh, and size down a bench. It doesn't necessarily have to be usable. I just want it for the look. You know? I mean, it definitely doesn't necessarily have to be usable. So I could just size it down. And then flop it. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. It's very low to the floor. Maybe it's like a pouffé to put your feet on top of. You know? Not necessarily to sit down. Yeah, I kind of enjoy that. I do. It's a shame that we can't really get a coffee table in here. Um, Maybe I can like... No. Nope, nope, nope. Not doing that. Not doing that. Right, I want some flowers on this side. Some pink flowers. Not those. We've used them. I want... Do these come in a pink? Oh, they do. Oh, they're very... It's very small though. Oh, in fact, you look great there. Oh, yes, it does. It looks really good there. Yeah. Do you know, this is bothering me. It's just bothering me because of the shadow, but also... We're just not feeling it. And I do want a coffee table. I do want a coffee table in here. Maybe something just a little bit. That's the smallest that we've got, isn't it? Apart from these, though, we have got a few of these that may... Like this. This could work. Yes. Yes, that's better. 
Yeah, we'll do that instead. So I'll plonk that there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that instead. And I can imagine him stealing one of his statues. One of his statues. Um, What can we put there, though? I mean, it needs to be quite bougie. Maybe the head, this one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we'll use this one. I might size it down one, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of sauces. Just a couple. Don't want too many sauces. Just checking the time that I'm not... Don't worry, I'm not rushing or anything. I'm just making sure that... We're not going to be watching an hour and 50 minute episode. Yeah, a couple of those. You know what I mean? It's just getting a bit more of his personality in there now. And I enjoy it. And as I said, he likes a clock. So maybe a nice grandfather clock for here. He likes a clock and a cock. <laughs> Same, to be honest. Yeah, maybe in the white... Or can we just go, ooh. I did like the gold on it, though. So I think we'll stick with the white and gold. Yeah, we will. Is that the same white? Yeah, it was. Just looked a bit weird. There we go. Yeah. We'll plonk that to there. Lovely jubbly. And I think down here, I'm going to put an urn. Which obviously houses his, his husband. Eh, which is sad to think about. But, yeah, they were very much in love. We'll do it in a white and pink. What was his husband called? Julian and Dominic. Dominic, yes. Julian and Dominic. Dominic was his, like, stagehand. Used to help him out with all of his equipment and lighting and whatnot. Um, I think we'll put a candle down there as well. We'll put a little candle. And I think, actually... I'll put a little photo just above it. Just a little memorial photo. Ah, oh, there's not going to be many faces, is there, though? No, there's not. I mean, I could use one. Oh, that's a bit bougie. Now, we'll skip that idea. Maybe I'll do a photo off of camera and we'll put it down there for when you have, we've got the save file. We'll do that. We'll do that instead. Um, I'm going to change the lighting in here, I would imagine. I would imagine Julian getting in some, getting in some chandeliers. Again, that he'd stolen. <laughs> well, not stolen, just took back from the people that are trying to nick all of it. <laughs> um, maybe just these. Yeah, we'll use these. We'll size them down. I'll, do, I'll use two. I'll do one there. It's a shame that we can't do that one there. Well, we can. Yes. Yes. That's given me the his personality. He's going to suit this house as well. Yes, Queen. Yeah. Okay, I'm happy with that. Above here, we definitely need to get in another one of those. I think Marilyn belongs in here. We might size her down twice there. Yeah, Marilyn's in. Oh. She is in. Marilyn's in there. So, yeah, we'll crack on to the bedroom, I think, now. I would love a mirror out here somewhere. Um, it's a shame we're not going to be able to get one. I could have put, like, a full-length mirror there. We could do it in the bedroom. We'll get, a, we'll get a mirror in the bedroom. It's fine. Okay, so I do believe that he needs a bed fit for a queen. So we're going to be using the most expensive one in the game, which is 15,000 Smolian. <laughs> 15,000 simoleons. Um, and we're going to push it right up against the wall as well because I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can get a makeup station here because it is going to be very needed. Very needed. We should be able to. And then I can just use the, maybe he keeps all of his clothes all locked in this cupboard over here. Um, and freeze up this space for his, like, drag clothes instead. 
and a place where he can get ready. Well, maybe not his drag clothes. Because <laughs> there's not much room. There is not much room at all. I'm just thinking, can I squeeze it in that orientation or should we put it this way? I could put it this way. I was just hoping to be able to get a dresser in here, but I don't think we're going to be able to. Do not think. I'm thinking of trying to maybe choose some pink curtains. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can get a little bit of pink in. Just a splash. Just a splash of the pink. Um. <laughs> Absolutely not. That is hideous. I don't know what I was thinking. Please do not touch me. Um. Oh, maybe you. Oh, that's that's very pink. I wanted more of a like a dusky, a dusky pink like that. But they go dark as soon as you put them on the wall, don't they? Yes, I hate them. I hate them. Oh. Oh, they could work in here. Is that the same pink as that? Because that looked... No, I thought, I thought it wasn't. So do you come in a better pink? Not really. Not really at all. Yeah, this, these here. So we'll put one there and we'll pop just one there. I wish these came with like the bar. Like the bar that goes across. I would love that. I could do it like that. That's fine. Yeah, okay. So yeah, this is basically the room he comes in, gets ready and goes to sleep in. I could probably do a dresser here. We could use one of the... Um, I mean, it's not going to fit. Style-wise, anyway. <laughs> can we? You bet your titties we can. Oh, please be able to get through there. We're going to play a test it anyway, but I'm hoping. I mean, it's a tight squeeze and it looks weird next to the bed, but I think we're going to do that. Oh, let's try a different orientation. What about if I did the bed here? Oh, in this corner even. The bed in that corner. This one squished into this corner. Like so. Let's get you in there. No, that's not going to work either, is it? I think that was I was right the first time. That orientation is going to be the only way we could make this work. Unless I can get the bed over to this side. Oh, shit. It's because of the curtains. I hate that. Curtains are there. Nope, that's not going to work either. Nope, we were right the first time. So we'll stay there. That just looks really... <laughs> I don't care. It's supposed to look kind of like put together wrongly anyway. Oh, I'm hoping that you can get in here. What about if I actually do put this here? I can push it into the corner. Those curtains are really disrupting everything that I want to do. So I'm going to get rid of them, sadly. Um, I would probably want... I think we're going to go for this. I think we are. I know it's the wrong pink. I know. And it's a travesty. But we're going to do it. We're going to do it. How weird that those curtains come in a different pink compared to these. It's very odd. I could do one. We'll just do one curtain. Yeah, we'll do one. And then he can... We'll just pretend that it's kind of grouped up. And he can spread it out when he wants the curtains to be drawn of a night. That is... That is the... um. The question. That's not going to work either. It's the door... I don't know. Let me see if I can get a small little seat in. So a seat that's not going to take up too much room is what we need. Um, oh, I've got everything in pink again, haven't I? Yes, I think that would be all right. <gasps> oh, I think they would. I think he will be able to get through there quite okay. I'm hoping because it would be iconic if he can. I mean, I would have loved this in a different area, but it's fine. It's fine. It is fine. And I think we'll get a pink fluffy rug in if we can have one. That's very dark. I thought you came in a better pink than that. I thought you did too. So maybe we won't. We'll go for a white fluffy rug instead. Maybe use that other one in the white fluffy. I prefer this one to that other fluffy rug. Yes. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Happy with that. Very happy with that. And then for the 
wall I'm going to try. I know I've got everything on pink. <gasps> that comes in a pink. I didn't even know. I could put it there. So he's got a side view of his wigs and whatnot. Yes, we'll do that. Imagine a drag queen pack. I've just thought that. <gasps> that could be amazing. I would be very happy. Okay, so on top here, he would definitely love some flowers. He would be all about the flowers. He really would. Like a big bushy, a big bushy flower. <laughs> yeah, this one. That kind of takes up a lot of room though, doesn't it? Yes, but what I am going to do is whiffle this into the corner. Because it's taken up far too much room. We are not about that life. That's cutting into the window pane. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We obviously need the um makeup bits and bobs. Who had the makeup again? Wasn't it Beryl? Yeah, Beryl had it. I'm gonna nick this Beryl. If you don't mind. Yeah, I can imagine um I can imagine Julian giving Beryl makeup tips as well. Does her makeup for her every now and again. She loves it. She loves the gaze. Absolutely loves the gaze. She's all about it. And I think on this wall, we'll do like a memory wall. We'll do a memory wall of photos. I would imagine Julian quite well traveled. Um, definitely lived a, a life. That's for sure. Yeah, this one here, I was thinking. The wall pictures of his maybe his dad and his mum maybe this was his husband yeah. <gasps> that's a good idea and then I can make the sim to look like that for the uh, the photo by the end yeah I'm kind of happy with this space I don't think it needs to I need to cram anything else into it um I may do one more clock in this room actually just to fit in with the storyline that we've been going with um and I think we'll just do a nice, uh, yeah, maybe this one. Maybe this one, but in a color that doesn't look any different when you change it anyway. So I'll just use that one, whatever color that is. I think it's green. Yes. Yes, that's cute. I'm feeling something up here as well now that I've just done a little spin of the house. So maybe... Something quite, I don't know, elaborate, shall we say. <gasps> oh, actually, do you know what would look great in here? Do you know what would look absolutely amazing in here? I cannot see it. There you are. A pride flag. For obvious reasons. Maybe not in there. It's going to look weird with the furniture. Maybe right at the door. In fact, I'll put the pride flag there. Just squeeze the pride flag in. And then above this, I'm going to put a nice mirror. Maybe this one with a flower on. Yeah. Yeah. And we need a nice doormat. A nice, like, pink doormat. Hmm. Have you got any like cutesy cutesy ones? Let's have a look. Oh, you're too bloody right we have. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So it's got a bit of personality in there. Obviously, we haven't done the bathroom. I'm just going to do the bathroom off of camera. Probably going to be the same for all of this. Um, lot. I won't do the bathroom on camera. And I know some people may be like, oh, why? It's just this I can't cram personality into a bathroom in a council block, really. Um, yeah, okay. Right, let's play a test it, shall we? Oh, he's alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat and make him make him happy. Why not? Okay, here we go. Come in here, my darling. Yes, Queen. Okay, what were the things we were unsure about? I don't think there was much things that we were unsure about. Uh, come in here and get some, listen to, I would imagine you would like a bit of, maybe, 
Barok. Yes. I can feel it. Oh, she is a queen. So make sure you name her a good name. Oh, yeah. She would she would be all about that. All about that life. Right. Come in here and take a sit down here, my love. Yeah, forget your Barok. Come on. Off in you come. Here we go. Oh, she can. Okay. Can you get into bed? I do believe so, yes. Stunning. Just joking, you're not going to bed yet, lovely. Come on out. Ah! Oh, Barry! If he comes if he shits in here. If you do a shit or anything in here, Barry. What is he doing? I don't trust him. He's gonna claw my furniture, isn't he? I'm suspicious. I'm suspicious of Barry. Has he got fleas? Ba Revolting. But to be fair, if I could do that, I would too. <laughs> go and... I would say go and... I thought he was going to go for a shit then. Tell him to get out. <laughs> oh. Oh, actually, maybe they are. Maybe he likes him. He did go to scold him, naturally, then. So that's the storyline progressing. But, um, but yeah. I think this place is obviously not done just yet. The bathroom is going to be done. But it's just going to look exactly the same as the others, my love. Oh, Beryl's having a shit. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be the same as the others. But I, I like this. I like this. I'm turning this off because it's very loud. It's very loud. But yeah, there we go. There is Julian's flat completed and done. Um, I'm here for it. I'm here for his storyline. I really am. Um, so yeah, don't forget. I want some drag queen names down in the description box below and the comment box below whichever one i feel is the winner i will kind of pin to the profile or pin to the comment box that would be the best way to do it yeah cool okay we're done with this one so that's the third one done um we are going to be back tomorrow i'm going to be maybe furnishing the downstairs uh, disabled apartment i've i've done the whole part Without calling it an apartment. And I have already. I've just called it that. I've called it that. You Americans are rubbing off on me. <laughs> um, I may do that apart. I may do that flat. but Or I may come up here and do another one tomorrow. I'm unsure. Again, we're going to build organically and see how I feel on the day. But yes, my friends. Thank you so much for coming today. I appreciate your faces. And I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.